I'm Solène from Solène Knits and today I will demonstrate the short row shoulders. So when you're working a garment uh, bottom up, usually at some point you will need to shape your shoulders to get that pretty shoulder line. So it's usually done by binding up a number of stitches every other row. So to get uh, a smaller and smaller number of stitches uh, to the top of the shoulder. Uh, but we can also do that instead of binding off by using short rows and that's a technique that I really love using whenever I'm working a, a bottom-up garment in a in stock and a stitch because um, there is a way less uh, finishing because I can just uh, I have live stitches after doing my short rows and I can just uh, attach them together attach my two shoulders together with a three needle bind off so it's very very easy to do the result is very neat and I'm going to show you right now how to do it if you've never done short So here is my current garment. I am working the back at the moment, so it worked in the round, so I have the front attached there too, and I already did my um, my shoulder shaping uh, for the front. But now I am working the back, and so I already shaped the a bit of the the neck here. So I'm shaping the neck and the shoulders, uh, the left shoulders at the same time. So uh, here I will uh, go to the knit to the end of the row, but instead of going uh, to the very very end and then binding off those uh, six first stitches on the next row, I'm going to work instead to the last stitches and uh, turn my work and do to do a, to start a short row. So I will just show you how I do that. So first I knit to my last six stitches and when I get there I'll be ready to work my first short row so two four six seven one more so here I will do my first short row. So if you've never done a short row, so first uh, I need to slip that next stitch uh, with, uh, so purl wise, to my right hand needle. Then I bring my yarn, so my yarn stayed in the back when I did that. And I'm now bringing my yarn to the front. So when my yarn in, is in the front, I can slip that stitch back to the left hand needle and then bring my yarn back to the back. So that prevents a hole from forming when we're, uh, when we're working short rows because that stitch that is wrapped here then we're gonna pick up the wrap at the end and uh, work it with the, with the stitch so it will be completely invisible. So now I can turn my work around and start purling back so to across my shoulder so I work my row back So now I can turn again and I now have to decrease a few stitches at the neck here, so at the center to shape the neck. So I will bind off my first four stitches. So for the front, usually the um, uh, in my patterns, uh, the the neck shaping shaping happens before the shoulder shaping. And in the back, it's at the same time. So one, two, three, four. So now, uh, last time I worked to my last six stitches. 
this time for this second sh short row I'll work to my last 12 stitches so to um, to uh, keep working on a smaller and smaller section of stitches uh, at the top of the shoulder so I'll work to the last 12 Twelve. So here uh, now. So I'm just checking. Twelve. So I'll do exactly the same as before. So I will slip my first stitch pearl wise with the yarn in the back. Then bring the yarn to the front, slip the stitch back to the left hand needle, bring the yarn to the back and turn my work. So I have wrapped that stitch and I am ready to keep working my short rows. So, working back to the beginning so now I have a few more uh, neck decreases to work so I'll bind off those stitches. So I'm binding off my next stitches here to get to the last short row. So I usually work three short rows uh, on the shoulders. Uh, what's uh, the best way if you're working from a pattern and it has bind off stitches you can absolutely replace them by short rows by adding your uh, uh, so just replacing uh, instead of binding off the stitches working to them and uh, wrapping them off and turning your work so here I need to work to the last uh, 18 stitches this time so 4, 6, 12, 40 18 so two more stitches and then I will do my last wrap and turn so I will as before slip my stitch pearl wise bring the yarn to the front slip my stitch back to the left hand needle bring the yarn to the back and turn my work So I work back those last few stitches at the top of my shoulder. And now the last step that you need to do is to pick up the wraps. Because as you can see, the, um, the stitches that are wrapped here, are, so we have a, a slightly visible loop uh, in front of the stitch here and a, a little hole behind, between the, those stitches. So we're gonna work the next row uh, knitwise. So just knit the next row. And when we get to those little wrapped stitch, stitch, so here I have my first. So instead of knitting the stitch uh, uh, just uh, normally, I will pick up that little wrap here that is the yarn that I wrapped around my stitch. So I'll put my needle in that wrap, then I put it through the stitch, and I knit those two together. So here the loop is now behind my stitch and is completely invisible in the front of my work. So I'll work to the next one and show you again. So here I pick up my loop from front to back with my needle 
and then I put it in my stitch and I knit those two together. I'll show you again for the, the final wrap stitch. So I put my um, my needle in the I pick up the wrap with my needle from front to back, and then knit that wrap together with the wrap stitch. And that's how. I work a short row shoulder and then as you can see my stitches are now live on the needle and so I can uh, easily uh, attach my two shoulders with a, a three needle bind up so here I can attach the two together or you can also use grafting but I prefer the three needle bind off because it's a it's a uh, more solid I think so you can, I will show you in the next tutorial how to do a three needle bind off. But in the meantime, I hope that you enjoy this tutorial. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask in the comments. So um, thank you so much for watching and I wish you a very lovely day. Bye bye.